Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to another session of Not Perfect Zen. I hope that you're doing well. It's been a very nice weekend here in the Houston, Texas area. Uh, this is still the beginning of November, and November is a time for Gratitangles, and I'm not doing all of them, but I have picked out a few that I like, and I'm going to try to put these together on a tile. I haven't tried it yet. So somebody asked me recently how I pick patterns to put them together. First of all, I look for something that I like, and then try putting them together. I don't always make... Um, the best kind of choices, but uh, my best advice is to, like I said, find something that you like and then try putting it together. Um, we're going to use a graphite pencil. I'm going to be using a Micron PN and a Micron 01. Depends on which pattern I'm working on and a blending stump, this uh, also known as a tortillon. I have a paper clip in it just because it helps to keep the tip pushed out for me because I'm always using it the wrong way, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's start with our four corner dots and gratitudes. I'm grateful to be doing this. I'm grateful for the beautiful weather that we have had. I'm always grateful for Zentangle in my life. And very grateful that I have the opportunity to share it and teach through YouTube. Okay, um, the first one I'm gonna do is Xander. And I found that in Project Pack 10, Day 2 from Zentangle, they did it in a spiral. And I, I know I saw that Project Pack, but I didn't remember seeing that in a spiral. So I'm going to try that first. I'm going to put that in the center. And the way that they did it in the video was to just start with a spiral. And for me, I need to take my time. And as I come around, I'm going to try to keep this at about the same distance going around. This is a Zentangle three and a half inch tile. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there and just see what I think. Okay, so see, this is a Zentangle tile. And then we are going to put just these little dividers, I guess you could call it. And I'm starting here and going to go around and then we'll come back and work on that center part. This is how they did it in the project pack and that seemed kind of smart to do. So we're going to try to keep these at about the same distance, making these kind of curved in both directions. And you can see that I did not do a perfect spiral because I don't do spirals very well, but it won't matter. When we get this all together, you won't even notice. Okay, just keep going around. We 
just adding these little bars. And when you do Xander in a straight line, these look like little bands going around a rope. Okay. Okay, we're going to stop here. And we could decide to go ahead and put more, but uh, I'm going to have the other patterns coming out of here and coming off those edges. So, let's see, in the center, let's go ahead and bring this around again. And do it that way. Okay, and then we'll just put a small one here. And then what we're going to do next is to put... Uh, Sorry, I've got a cheat sheet over here. <laughs> Lines. And when we get towards the center, we're just going to lift our pin a little bit. And it's going to make it look like a sparkle. And it doesn't have to be a perfect sparkle going across. And then here on the edge, you can just go ahead and make it a straight line, not a broken line. Okay, oh, sorry, just having a hard time getting my camera to zoom in a little. Okay, so that's better. Okay, so like I said, here on the edge, we can just do a complete line, and then in here, we're just gonna do few lines that look kind of broken. Okay, and this will look really good after we get it um, shaded. And we're not trying to make each of them look exactly the same. And just keep going around. This is repetitive, but it's the repetitive patterns that uh, to me are very relaxing. Why is my camera so bumpy? Sorry. Okay, so I was saying that this is kind of repetitive. Uh, if you're doing this faster than I am, you are welcome to speed up your video. If I'm going too fast, you can also use those YouTube controls to slow it down. I don't put any background music on my videos because it's too distracting. So you can have music in the background while you watch. Okay. So we're just continuing to spiral in with Xander. Simple lines. I'm 
I'm not trying to do perfect spacing. Sometimes I forget to put the space, but see, it doesn't matter. So just keep adding your lines. Okay, that is actually the first time I've ever done Xander in a spiral. Okay, I'm just gonna make these a little darker. Or I could wait and do this when I shade it. I just want these little bands to show up. So I hope that you enjoyed Inktober if you did it. If you did not follow Inktober, you can do those patterns anytime. And for the patterns that you learned, you can put them into your Zentangle art at any time. That's the fun thing about learning from the uh, Inktober. Okay, so that was Xander. The second one I want to do is called Haley, and that's day 12. So Xander is day 7, Haley is day 12, and I think I'm just going to let these come off of some of this the bands. So with uh, Haley, we come out and we make like a little fescue. Okay. And then we're going to put an aura around it that doesn't touch. Okay, it just comes around. And then her original pattern does these little three spikes on top that come around. And then she adds an aura around those. Okay. And then I didn't touch that. It wouldn't matter if you did but uh, she doesn't have it done that way. Let's have another one come up this way. So we're gonna put a little fescue on it, or you could call it just a little teardrop end. And then another one that she did comes around. And then this time she put these little loops, loop, and a third loop, and then come around. Okay, and then you add your aura. Okay, aren't those cute? <laughs> So simple and so cute. <clears throat> the other one is called B. Dillon, okay? And B. Dillon 
is, stands for Bob Dylan, okay, who is, who was an American singer. He has a song called Blowing in the Wind. And so this little pattern looks like a dandelion blowing in the wind. So I'm going to have one of those come out this way. And then she puts um, kind of like a little triangle top on it. And then from this top, we're going to flick our pen. Okay, so this is where I'm going to switch from my 01 to my PN because I like the effect better and I don't want to mess up the end of my Micron 01. Okay, so we are going from this little triangle space in all directions and then just flipping our pen like that, just lines. We're not trying to get a certain length. And you can see I'm going past that little pencil border, which doesn't matter. So we're coming off the sides and the ends. And then you'll just kind of keep filling it in until you have it the way that you want it. And then she comes back and puts little dots here and there. You can put them on the end, put them down inside. Okay, so then it really makes it look like a little weed about to drop its seeds. Okay, so now I'm just gonna continue to add these little flowers around Xander. So let's put another one of the um, Haley. And I'm gonna go over that line. And I'm just gonna go ahead and keep using my Micron PN. Okay, here's our little jagged top. Comes around. And then we're gonna go around it and add an aura. Let's come over here. So coming off of this one, I'm going to put another one of the B. Dillon. So again, we start with that straight line, a little triangle on the end, and then we're going to come out from each side of that triangle. And again, I'm putting my pin down and then it just kind of comes up, 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 like that. Just flick it up, and then just keep going in different directions. And it's okay if one line goes over another. I think this is just such a pretty little pattern. And it's so easy. Okay, now let's put our little dots here and there. Some on the ends. Just random. All right. Let's put a little one here.
Okay, so just continue to fill that in a little bit at a time. Oop, sorry. I'm sorry if you hear my printer in the background. It's doing some kind of weird stuff. Okay. Here's another one of those. And we can have, you can also just have some little fescues coming out. Okay. Like I said, I don't have this planned, I'm just doing these patterns for fun. And I wanted to do a few of these um, Greta Tangles. Okay, let's do little loops on this one. And then the aura. Okay, and then coming off of these, you could do little fescues also. I think that does help. Honestly, didn't know how this was going to turn out <laughs> when I started. But that's how it is with all of our tiles. If we don't have them pre-planned, just do it and enjoy it. This one's kind of botanical. And botanical patterns always make me happy. We don't have winter here yet. We did have... One morning recently, I am in the Houston, Texas area, um, where it was in the high 30s. And so, Mother Nature always teases us here. The temperature goes down, and then it'll come back up, and it'll be short sleeve weather again, and then just all of a sudden, it gets cold again. Okay, what shall we do? I think we need something coming out of here. I love simple patterns like this. It's like doodling, except that you have help teaching you a pattern to doodle with, right? Okay, there's that. Add some more little fescues. Okay, let's put a fescue here. I'm coming off of here. Fescues are fun and easy to put in anywhere. Okay, we don't have anything coming off of this one, so just a little fescue.
Okay. This is what you get when it's not planned and <laughs> practiced. All right, so let's go and add shading on our spiral. So just keep coming around until you get back to the center where we started. That was pretty much it. We're going to put graphite on this outer band. And then when we get to where it starts to spiral back around, we're going to stop. And then let's go ahead and put graphite on each side of these little bands. And then we'll just come back and soften those all at the same time. Another thing that you could do is fill in those... Uh, little bands here. I got them kind of narrow, so you may not see them as well as if, if I had done them a little bit wider. It's not perfect, and that's okay. Okay, so let's start in the center and just soften this. And we're going to push it toward where we left those little sparkle areas, but don't fill it in. Just leave that area white. So just do that in each one of these. Just push it toward the center. Make sure you don't have any harsh edges left. Just soften where you put down your graphite. Okay, and then we're softening these edges here also. Keep going around. And these small ones, you don't need to push it very far. Like I said, we want to keep that area white. Soften your edge on each side, and then bring the ends toward that sparkle area. It's 
It's always such a nice difference when you get to the shading. If you're ever afraid to do it, just try it. <laughs> See what a difference that makes? All right. And then for um, these B. Dillon, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of graphite at the bottom of these flowers. And then we're going to take our tortillon blending stump and just soften that. Very gently pull it out towards the rest of the flower. We just want a little bit of shading. We don't want an obvious line. Just little soft strokes with your blending stump. Just keep pushing it toward the end, the outside. This one, hmm, honestly not sure how I would shade that. She didn't show any shading in her step out. I'm just going to put a little bit from what's left on my blending stump just at the bottom of these. Kind of bring it together. All right, what do you think? <laughs> it's okay. All right, it was fun. It's a fun tile. I'm going to... So I did it upside down, unless I have it pouring out this way. Oh, that looks like it's rolling down. <laughs> Let's see. How do I want it? Actually, with Centangle, you should be able to look at something from any direction. And it's fine. How about that? I like that. So I'm going to add my chop. I think I will hide it over here. Okay, remember to um, appreciate your tile again. And it, if you question it, Hold it out at arm's length. It always looks better. At least to me it does. And then on the back of your tile, write the date and sign it and put the pattern names. And we did use one more. We used Fescue and that's by Zentangle. All right, if you do this tile, and you share it on social media, I would ask you to please tag me at BBL Tangles. And um, that way I'll know that you've put something out there and I can go look at it. All right, there you go. B. Dylan, Xander, Haley, and Fescue. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.